Welcome to the Hive Carrier Tour. This is the alien ship that is used to support the alien invasion fleet with fighters, which it stores on its arms on these little connectors there. They store 172 fighters along the outside of the ship. While the alien does have an internal hangar, that's mostly for uh, smaller support craft and uh, when the humans come to surrender. Now, the thing about this alien hive carrier is that it's alive. And in general, when it gets shot at, it gets angry. You wouldn't like it when it's angry. So after the alien ship takes fire, it has to protect its relatively fragile body. Sometimes, after a large battle, the alien gets hungry. onto the inside of the ship. Ah, automatic lighting. This is the main barracks room. While those things up there look like conveyors, they're actually veins. They run through the entire ship. They provide food for the aliens. They move materials and energy throughout the ship. Let's take the gravity elevator to the top floor. You can see there's more veins here running throughout the ship. Let's enter the hatchery.
This is where all the little baby aliens are born. It appears that some of them have already burst forth. Huh. The med bays were added in the back to, ash to add actual functionality to the room. Moving down the hall here, we have auxiliary barracks. Simple but effective. On the way to the brain, you can stop, have a look down through the ship. You can see the stomach and other parts of the ship being fed with the veins. Ah oh yes, the brain. If we go down the hall, through one of the side doors, we'll enter one of the tentacles. All connectors on the outside of the ship are connected with their veins. Each of the arms has three joints, and each joint looks like this. Each joint turns 90 degrees and then reconnects the veins, which supplies the rest of the arm with connectivity. Elevator down. If this ship needs to resupply another ship, or another ship resupply this ship, in the back of the ship is a resupply connector. Currently, only one drone fighter is attached to the ship, purely for the purposes of reducing lag. The drone is remote controlled. One camera is actually functional, the other two are purely for cosmetics, and there is one on the bottom of the ship for guiding and stopping. This concludes the tour of the alien I've carried.